Okay, we're at the machine and we're ready to start stitching out our mug rug. So, I have my hoop. It's already got my stabilizer in it, cutaway stabilizer. I have a partial bobbin in here that I put, and if it runs out, no big deal. I will show you guys how to switch that out because you will run out of bobbin in the middle of a project, and it's nothing to die over. So, you just push that down out of the way and slide this in and put the little handle down. Don't worry about forgetting to put the handle down. This beauty right here won't let you forget. So let me show you how we retrieve our design and get started. Oh, before we do that, I have a project board that I had made. I will link to Lori Holt's video on how to make these project boards. I'm not very clean, not very good with the hot glue. I did what I could. <laughs> but this is so handy. So you can see where I have my background heart piece and I have all of my five pieces all set out of how I want them to stitch and this will be the other side of the mug rug okay so I chose a complimentary uh, uh, Madeira poly uh, embroidery thread and I think it's gonna look super cute I'm really excited to get started with this so the first thing we need to do is go to embroidery oh I am using the Brother Luminaire which is on loan to me from allbrands.com if you guys are in the market for one of these, I highly recommend you check out All Brands. They are a family-owned business out of Louisiana, and they have reached into Texas. And uh, they have a great online site, and you can always call them no matter where you are, anywhere in the U.S. or around the globe, and let them know what you want, and they will take care of you. So anyway, let's get to this, okay? We're going to go to Embroidery. And I'm going to go to the Pocket, which is the Memory. And it wants to know where do you want to get it from? Well, I'm going to go to this little symbol right here that looks like a bunch of radar waves because that is the, uh, that's from, uh, if you recall, we sent the design to the machine wirelessly. And let's look for it. It is probably in alphabetical order. Here it is. Heart mug rug. Right there. I'm going to hit set. And embroidery and we are ready to go. If we look at the instructions, it says place the hoop in your machine. Step one will create the placement outline for your batting directly onto your stabilizer. Okay, I'm going to put the foot down and now you will see different colors in here. Don't worry about those so much. I think we can do all of this in one color. Uh, what these color changes are is it tells your embroidery mas machine to stop. So it has stitched out the line to tell us where to put the batting. All right, I'm going to put this right here. This is warm and white. It's just This is a great way to use up batting scraps too. I'm going to put my foot back down and stitch that on. Now what this has done is it has stitched a placement line for your mug rug. So your mug rug top fabric. So here is the piece of fabric that I'm going to use and this is going to go on the larger side. So this is not exactly center, it's a little bit closer to me. So this is going to be the narrow dark piece. This is going to be the larger piece that where the heart will be appliqued. So you just want to make sure that you get this put right at that line. You do not have to remove the hoop. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put that. Oh, I almost made a mistake. Let me make sure I got that right. Place fabric one on the left side of that basting line. The six inch side will line up with the basting stitch line. Fabric one should be 
face up. Okay, we're good. So I made a mistake right here. I did not look at the very next step in the instructions. So let me show you how to fix that if you do that. There is a button on here that looks like a needle with a plus or minus next to it. I'm going to hit that and I'm going to go back one step. So there's an, a down arrow to go forward and an up arrow to go backward and I'm going to do that. No big deal. Easily recoverable. Let's see. I want this to look like this, so I'm going to fold it just like that. Is that right? Yeah, that'll be pretty. And then you just stitch it again. It's always good to read through your instructions, so I got ahead of myself. No big deal. Now I need to fold this piece over this way just like that okay smooth it down and you can crease it with your finger you can crease it with a creasing tool or you can iron it whatever you want now all of the background stitching on the mug rug is going to occur don't put your fingers in the sewing field like me We'll be back here in a bit. So the next thing it wants to do is stitch the outline to show placement of the big heart. Now here is where you want to be pretty careful about how you place your pieces because you want to make sure that the embroidery design satin outline stitch is going to catch everything. So I am going to put a little glue stick under here don't worry about this this works just fine you can use spray if you want um, not that big of a deal but I'm just gonna put that there just to make sure that it stays right where I want it so I don't want it shifting around on me at all I'm putting the point down and I'm just gonna kinda go around you wanna make sure that you cover all of the hearts outline just where you cannot see it anymore but it's not wonky at all okay so I think that'll be fine now we're ready to go back to the machine it's gonna do the tack down stitch now It looks like it missed it right here just a little bit. Don't worry about that. The satin stitch will cover that edge. Now it wants to do the placement stitch for piece number one. Now for little bitty pieces like that, I have a trick. 
I still use the glue stick, but I have a little uh, standard screwdriver, and I'll just get a little bit of glue on the end of that and kind of paste it in there and kind of smooth it out. That way I know it's not going to go anywhere. Again, you want to just cover all of those stitches, that, that placement line. Just cover that. All right. I'm going to continue doing uh, placement, tack down, placement, tack down for the rest of these little heart pieces. Looks like we've got a little problem with the thread. If that happens, don't worry. You always want to unthread. Don't ever pull your thread back out from the top. You can shred the, the thread up in your machine and that will be a problem. You always want to unthread it the way it was threaded. Sometimes threads have a thin spot on them and they will break. No big deal. Now, so we went about, I don't know, 30 or 40 stitches. I'm going to start again on this particular one. And how I need to do that is Tell it okay. I need to re-thread my needle. And then on this screen with the needle plus minus, I'm kind of still there. I'm going to back up. I'm going to use the embroidery thread. Um, I could back up 10, 20 stitches, or I could go backwards one. That is my placement stitch. That's where, it's want, that's where it wants to start, right? Yeah, that's where I'm going to start. If you ever have a tail that didn't totally embed, don't worry about that. Just get in there and trim it. So I've noticed a couple of the edges are kind of poking up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut the thread right here because the tack down stitch didn't catch them all and I don't want to take the chance of that fabric getting caught this right here I can see that okay if you see something like that happen head that off at the pass with a little bit of glue stick just take a little bit of it and get under there kind of just you don't need a lot you just need a little bit to get under there and make sure that those little edges are not going to get caught with the foot and get tucked up in there. You don't want to do that. These feet are kind of breakaway. And they will bend to pieces before it allows the, uh, the machine to hurt itself. Now if you have a place where you have some knots there's a, a pretty good set of knots right there. You're gonna f you're gonna see the needle kind of want to drag, and it's gonna hang in there. Um, just be prepared. You might need to fix that if the thread breaks or shreds. That that is something that occurs in embroidery. Oh, we're almost out of bobbin thread. It'll come up and give you a little sad face and tell you you're almost out of bobbin thread. Okay, so when you do that, just go ahead and cut the threads. And take the hoop out and open the little door. Now what I like to do is back up about five stitches. That's good. Like Serve Pro, like it never even happened. Okay guys, so we had some technical troubles with the camera. I explained that in another video that I'm doing. But I finished the mug rug, got it all done, you'd seen it before, and I went to go ahead, because I got all the way through, almost to the end. So I went ahead and made another rug, mug rug. When the chip messed up on the camera, I went ahead and started filming again using the same chip, 
shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. So I went ahead and finished this mug rug. So where it ended, as all you needed to do is to take your fabric that's going to be your backing and you want to put that face down on there and let it stitch around. I was that close to being finished and it's going to leave a little opening. Then you take it out of the hoop, you trim it to a quarter of an inch. You want a 45 degree angle those corners, get those corners clipped off to prevent bulk and then go ahead and flip your uh, mug rug right side out and give it a good press. I close mine with, it's not the prettiest, but I close mine with steam a seam Because you know me, I'm not, uh, not going to hand stitch a thing. So, anyway. Alright you guys, so I'm sorry I couldn't finish it, but you're good. You can finish it. I know you can. So just follow the instructions and you'll be fine. So if you are part of our Facebook group, please put your mug rug on the Facebook group. Uh, I'd love to see it, okay? I'll put a link to it below. I want to see your work. We'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.